Hi, and welcome back to the Remind.com tutorial series with Counts on Real Services. Today we're going to quickly show you how to add an activity. Uh, we're going to use our course test class one. You can see we're logged into our dashboard here. There's a couple different ways of doing this. Um, you can go to activities right here. You see there's no activities created yet. Create an activity, create an activity. Uh, go back out to the main dashboard. There's also under upcoming events in your little thread here in the middle. You got create an activity here, or you can come up here to the blue button where you also send announcements and that and create activity. But in our case, we're just going to use the main menu over here, activities, and create a new activity. We're going to create an e event. Let me go back out here. Sorry, real quick. I did that too quick. So we have options of field trip and event. The only two we're going to use, they are exactly the same, they're just named different. We're not going to be concerned with these two over here. So we're going to create an event. Uh, parent test meeting. So here you can select the classes that we want to send us to. And we'll get rid of that and we'll just show you real quick. But it'll show you all the classes that you have the option to send this activity to. Uh, in this case, we'll do test class 2. Select next. Uh, this is going to be in Testerville. And we'll do it for this Friday at noon. No cost. You should never have to use this. But next, it generates a default message. Hi everyone, I'm using Remind to coordinate the parent meeting. You can change this if you would like. These are automatically checked for you. And we'll hit next. And it should go. And we have created a parent test meeting under activities. Once so something happened here. We get an error message. I'm not sure why. Anyways, we will... Uh, under we'll click on this parent test meeting we just created if it lets me let me refresh we'll go back under activities here we'll click on parent test meeting there we go so here we clicked on that parent test meeting that we uh, created and it gives us some more detailed uh, more details of who we all sent it to. It'll have a list of everybody we sent it to here. Um, it'll have how many people responded yes, how many maybe, how many no, who hasn't responded. You can add some notes over here to each individual. It'll also show you their, their response over here. Little uh, This little uh, cloud with a plus sign, we can send an individual message to that person. Um, we can close this activity up here. Um, more details here. We can change the details up here, update them. Um, we can share it. This will give us a link to share it. But uh, we'll get back out of here. And back to our main dashboard. Once again, just a real quick review activities, create field trip or event, create your event sends the announcement, you'll get responses back, you can check the details of the activity created and send private messages uh, to each parent. That is the end of this tutorial. Thank you and have a good day.